WV Uncommon Place. This podcast is a variety podcast that houses numerous series to cover mental health, empowerment, podcast framework, and various intimate theories to get to know the hosts. Along with occasional movies, reviews, and dives in pop culture with our event podcast episodes. The Uncommon Place digs into bringing guests on that stories don't fit the mold and are very different. WV stands for the great state of West Virginia and every quarter we cover something in West Virginia. Stacy and myself JR are your hosts so please come along for this venture to Uncommon Place. Hey everybody, I'm JR. Welcome to West Virginia Uncommon Place. And I'm Stacy. Finally off assignment. It's a weekend. Oh, it's a weekend? Okay, so you can come on the show. So listen, people. I'm a podcaster, and I had to learn something this week. I got a badass attitude. <laughs> but the problem is, is that I get a badass attitude, and I'm very sloppy with people in business. And when I say this, I'm talking about people that own companies. I'm talking about people that are influential. I drop the bag sometimes because I don't rationalize when I feel slighted. And this is my toxicity. If I feel slighted in a situation, I am no longer Mr. Nice, hunky dory, JR, calm, compassion for passion, passion for compassion. No, them horns come out and I become Galactus. Galactus. <laughs> Damn right. Galactus had Silver Surfer run around the world and crush planets, and he'd be like, Silver Surfer would find him a planet, and get, uh, I said Galvatron. Galactus would be like, I'm going to eat this planet. And Silver Surfer would be like, why, master? He's like, you're my herald, so you listen. Don't question what the fuck I do. I'm Galactus, <laughs> bitch. And Galactus in the Marvel Universe is one of the, um... One of them Eternals from that horrible last movie, but he's like a bigger Eternal. So he has to consume planets where he dies. So when I turn into that mode, you cannot knock me off my whatever stance I'm on. Now, I'll rationalize a little bit later when Stacy calms down, gets me to calm down a little bit. I was going to say, when I calm down, like, what? <laughs> now, when I calm down, and now if we both go off, then you're through the roof. Don't let that ever happen. I'd rather you slight me before you slight her, because if you slight her, whew, What's it like, Stacy? Um, like, I don't want to say nothing to incriminate myself in video. Oh, shit, no, 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 don't do that <laughs> shit, but That shit's at the See, the gangster came out. I know, um, um, I mean, let's just say I can't speak anything online about what happens. Right. Especially some of them gangster incidents in craft stores. Or crosswalks. Crosswalks. Oh, shit, yeah. Hey, there's a TikTok video y'all gotta go see by Stacy. You got a gangster video, a TikTok. I forgot what it was, but it got a lot of views. Oh, that's the old lady that tried to run my nephew over. Yeah, that one was gangster. Our nephew. Yeah, so that was a gangster one there. Yeah, just because she needed to get that handicap spot before anybody else. Right. If you're handicapped, slow down. But I was referencing the yesterday. Oh, yeah. Thugs. Yeah. When you're at our local Walmarts, people, please drive the suggested speed limit, which is slow. If you're going over 20 miles. And you, remember, in the state of West Virginia, pedestrians have the right of way with, when within a crosswalk. Right. So, so do the right thing. So we know I always do these episodes and I'm glad to have you on. And I do not incriminate anybody in anything I say, but I just put things out there. Uh, when someone runs a business... And you're running whatever kind of scheme or scam or if it's a good business. Because some people run scams and they work out. Mm -hmm. If people run these pyramid scams and someone comes in with certain amounts of authority in certain areas. And you discredit those people and they have receipts for what they do. That's when you start noticing certain things. And I'm going to say this. I'm a very humble person. I will go out of my way to help anyone in podcasting. But. One thing that I do not tolerate and I will never, ever let someone do to me again, and I don't let it happen now, and I didn't let it happen this week, you will not discredit me on my podcast marketing. Because I know how to make a successful podcast, 
And I'm not saying that in a bragging way. I'm just saying that I know how to make a podcast, develop it with the right material in the right co-host, which is Stacy. And I know how to help people funnel ideas to get podcast growth, to get listeners to listen to your show, not one week, not two weeks, but four weeks in a row. And then they continuously come. You may have some declines and drop offs, but it's all based on your content. That's something I can't help you with there. And that niche and down stuff, I can't tell you anything about that. But one thing that I can't be discredited on is that when I put my claws, these JR Sparrow talents, I don't know what noise it was supposed to be a bird. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't I don't have a bird noise. It's or some shit. That ain't even right. But the thing is, is when I put these talents, these sparrow talents into whatever you're doing. I'm going to make gold out of it. I am going to work harder than anyone else to help promote what you do. And then once I show you how I do the promotion and I give you the backward back end and the backwards way to do it, then it's a respect that comes out of that. And when I get that respect from you, you carry it on to whoever you want to. I don't charge a dime for it. Except with the announcement, Let's go ahead and make it official. Yeah. We are officially launching JR's... Um, office hours. Office hours. So basically what that is, is he has opened up his calendarly for appointments. And <clears throat> you can find that information. He might give you a little bit here. But this is, this is still in the works. But the calendars are open. So you will reserve a time slot. You do have to pay for these time slots. Um, right now we are starting out at $20, $20 an hour. So you get an one hour for $20 with JR to come in and tell him what you want to do. And, um, and this is the thing with that $20 will do. So it goes deeper than the one hour. There will be a simple little podcast audit involved with that, which when you pay me, I'm going to go check out your podcast. I'm going to listen through five episodes. And if you tailor those episodes and tell me that these are the ones you want me to hear, which should be your bad ones, not your good ones, (laughs) I'm going to see where we can evolve and revolve and get your podcast on point like Steve Nash. And when I say that, let me break it down in layman's terms. I'm sorry that I did it that way. But here it is. I want to figure a way to get podcast growth to the genre of your podcast. And I can do that. That is something that I work hard with. I will hashtag it. I will figure this and that. And this is what you're going to get outside of that hour you get to spend with me because it's going to be what I bring to you. But here is the kicker. If you schedule an appointment with me on Friday and you want me to have all the information that quick, I may schedule you the second Friday out because I want to give you a fair amount of time. So for $20, you're going to get at least four to five hours of my time the prior week on your podcast. Unless your show's like two hours long, then we'll have to work out some. So with that, please remember, with all of that in mind, you want to give him an, at least a week's notice right? to schedule an appointment. Right. And my open hours will be tentatively right now from 1 to 5 EST on Fridays. I know people are like, why don't you pick other times? Because it's weird people that schedule stuff on days at like 10 o'clock. When most people are working 10 o'clock EST, and if you're not EST, you're probably sleep. If you're PST, and if you're any of those other times, I don't know what you're doing, but you're probably doing something else. So I just wanted to put this out there to everybody because I have been pushed against a wall by someone and I pushed back and then I realized that it wasn't necessary to even like dwell on it. Mm -hmm. I, I seen what the scheme and scam was. So I just shut it down. And this is one thing that I want to say to anybody that owns a company or owns a business. Do not devalue people when your show, your premise, and what you're supposed to do is is to help build people up. Because when you do that, it comes back and grows. And when it comes back and grows, it comes back harsh. And when it comes back harsh, I'm talking like this. Nobody's going to stop your cash flow, but your respectability, your integrity, the characterization of your product will be brought down and like you know like I know you've seen the receipts and I got the receipts so this is not a harsh uh, ether battle between Nas and Jay-Z or nothing like that I'm just going to say this real simple to you I'm a sparrow that's a bird but when you go against me I'm a sparrow hawk and the last time I checked, the sparrow hawk eats everything that's in the sky. 
So on that note, I'm just going to leave that dive there. And if you need to go any further with that, you can take the connotation of however you want to take that. Just because I am Jay Hart Sparrow. But anyway, on another note, putting this episode out here, I just want people to respect other people. People are creative and people have expertise in certain areas. If you want someone's expertise, then let them do what they do. If you do not want their expertise or you don't want their, their type of clientele or their type of developing style with helping people, usher those people off your platform in a nice manner right. or do like algorithms do and slowly push them down the algorithm, but don't blatantly do it. Camouflage it. Be nice because when you're not nice, people like me come back. Right. So, and there's, there's plenty of opera or there's plenty of space for everybody out there. Like you can't honestly tell me that you're putting enough content out there to keep me entertained 24 seven. So we should be encouraging and promoting and supporting other but other people any way any way that we can and we should do that in a way that is free. Like and and we have that actually. Um we started a new Facebook group on um a little while ago, it's called Networking with Podcasters. Um, you do have to fill out a couple questions. But we we invite anybody that wants to come um, either be a guest on a podcast show or you want to become a podcaster or maybe you're already a podcaster out there listening, um, come over and start networking. Um, but we want, like I said, it's a, a supportive avenue. We want people to be positive. If, if you're not coming in to help support other people, then we don't need you. Right. If you want all of the support, then we, we, we don't have space for you. We want people to, that are going to come in and be like, oh, let me grab your show, your show, your show, and help support it in different ways. Right. And take the little tactics that right. you do and give them to people. Like, mm-hmm. here here's my problem. You have Google University and YouTube University. Right. If you sit there, and I could sit there with people. I should run a boot camp one day. <laughs> I can do a boot camp, and we can take 12 hours in a week, and you can learn everything to market your show mm-hmm. and never need to pay another person how to do your show whatsoever. Right. And, and the key thing is, is that when people do come with tactics that really work for you, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying anything I've ever done, but I'm talking about the Katie Brinkley's of the world, the Alex Sanfilippo's, mm-hmm. the Larry Roberts type people, you pay those people for that because they've invested time, they put books, they put manuals, they do things. And when I say you pay them, buy their books. It's everything that you get outside of their information with them. Right. Is what is worth their monetary value. Yes. Because... Yeah, you might be able to find this information somewhere that's going to take you years. But what they put behind that information that they teach you is is worth it. And I'll say that wholeheartedly. Um, and another thing, too many people out here, and this is about people that provide things like we're doing with this mm-hmm. networking with podcasters. Too many people talk about a return on investment. So here's my my answer to that. The return on investment when someone does something for you for free is that you got free advice. Right. If I pay someone for something, and this is about software developers, I'm going to go take on y'all real quick because I've had this complaint for the last three years and nobody's addressed it. Nobody's tried to fix it. Mm -hmm. Giving me marketing assets is amazing. But help me advertise into the algorithm because you're already in cahoots with the algorithm people anyway. You would never develop a, a software unless there was a way for you to get it tied into certain parts of social media to help people. Because mm-hmm. who would blatantly make something that is supposed to help that doesn't? That's fraud. So so here's my idea to all software people or people that are in development. Make something that markets and advertise. And I found some tactics that market and advertise at the same time. And there are, there are things that I tell people free. Um, and then there's another thing that I will say that's a true return on your investment. And that is Canva. Mm-hmm. Canva is a return on your investment because the marketing assets you make there, they actually align with the APIs of these different companies, which would be Facebook, Instagram. They will put your post up wherever you want it to go. And all you got to do as a content creator, even if you're not a podcaster, is find the times that, that people say work. And then there's gatekeepers that want to tell you that, oh, we've got the tactic, but there's, it's fifty ninety nine or it's $750 to get these this information. No, 
It's on Google. And all it takes is a quick finesse of your hands across the keyboard. Scat, scat, scat. And you got it. <laughs> and uh, I, I think I, got I think a... you, we've, we've went kind of everywhere with this episode. Yeah. So to sum it all up, um, you are, uh, you get frustrated easily. Yeah. Um, with business you're, people. You're, you're starting a new new business venture for anybody that would like their show audited and to spend an hour of time with you one-on-one. Um, we have started a Facebook group called Networking with Podcasters. And it's a, whole, it's a cute little Snapchat sign that I designed by myself on Canva. And, and that's a... And... Well, anything else important out of that um, yeah. conversation? Well, yeah, one, th- one thing I want to say is that uh, Stacy's a moderator over there. And she has a very good format for you out there. So definitely join this and you'll get some little tidbits from me here and there and from other people. I mean, you put most of the information out there. I, I have some generated questions that post are supposed to post every other week. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. I don't want to overload anybody. And we, we invite everybody to, to interact, to post, to make put your podcast out there. Um, I have questions of, you know, your throwback Thursdays, motivate me Mondays, uh, talk about it Tuesdays. Um, I don't I don't even know what I have on there. But we want everybody to jump in and just just have fun, help each other out. Like we all want to make money out of this, so let's share those secrets to figure out how to make the money. Right, and, and that's just all we ever want to do. So I went on a crazy rant, and you know these episodes on West Virginia Complex, we don't even make them shits that long, for real. <laughs> so um, I just want to say this. If you're a content creator, and I always say that, and I include podcasters, Stacey's like, Phew. I know, you, you like finished it up like two turns ago. Yeah, I'm just, just trying to help these people out with one last gym. Keep creating. Join the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group, but keep creating. Subliminal messages in the background. Nobody can hear that whisper. If you've listened to it long enough. So on that note, I'm JR. And I'm Stacy. And this is West Virginia. Uncommon place. And remember, never to quit. Never quit seeking the uncommon damn right please follow wv uncommonplace on instagram tumblr twitter tiktok where we have some great content facebook linkedin hit up the merch store at onecommonplace.square.site join the email list from the website and rate subscribe and give feedback from your favorite podcatcher and lastly thanks for listening and tune into the next episode Thank mm-hmm. you.